All right, this is the kickoff for Infertility Awareness Week, and the theme that that has been chosen is called Flip the Script. So what I would like to do is talk about the common things that we feel when we're going through infertility and just shed some light on how maybe that's not how your infertility journey has to be. So today the topic I've chosen is barrenness is not emptiness. Sometimes when we want something and we have this void and we are trying to to get it filled with what we want, we feel empty, we feel broken, we feel all of these feelings like there is just this big baby shaped hole in our hearts and we can't move on, we can't feel whole or complete until we get over this barrenness, we get over this infertility and we get what we want. And I'm not saying you can't want that, but what I'm saying is that there is so much more God wants to give you than just a baby. He wants to give you a baby. He created our bodies, even if they're broken, he created them with the intent for us to be fruitful and multiply. So he didn't give you a hole in your heart that is for a baby. He gave you a hole in your heart that's for him. He wants to fill you. He wants to complete you. He wants to make sure that you need him, that he is your number one priority. And he doesn't want you to keep trying to fill the void that God is supposed to be filling with a baby. So whatever the reasons for your infertility, today I just want you to know that you are not empty. You are not, there is, God is not holding back on you to be mean. He wants to fill you with a lot of goodness. And maybe the first part of that isn't a baby. Maybe the first part is just saying, God, I trust you and God, I need you. And watch what God does. This journey is, this season is challenging, but it's not one that we have to stay in. We don't have to stay barren. We don't have to stay angry and bitter about our situation. What we can do is trust God, trust his goodness, trust the peace that he really wants to give us. He wants to fill us with love and joy and happiness and real true hope not hope that gets so tired every month of a big fat no but renewed hope that's sustaining no matter what the answer is so if you feel empty it is not because you're barren it is not because you're infertile it's because you're trying to get to something without using god to fill it for you god needs to be a part of your life he designed us this way he designed us to be lacking so that we are depending on him let this season be a reminder that we need god we need him and we are not broken and empty we just need him i hope that encourages you today please feel free to reach out to me i'm here